Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we're discussing the tracheobronchial tree. Okay, so we've discussed that the uh, right bronchus is going to split into uh, two lobar bronchi uh, when it uh, gets into uh, the right lung. Okay, now this branch up here is going to supply the upper lobe of the lung, and this branch down here is going to supply the two lower lobes, the middle and the lower lobe, okay? Um, very quickly, the branch that supplies the middle lobe will branch off here, and we'll show that in a moment. Okay, so let's start off with this um, branch that is going to supply the upper lobe here. Okay, so it's going to split into three portions, three bronchi. Okay, so let's show this happening. So here's one that's going to go up, and then the other uh, two that you're going to get are going to go forwards and then one's going to go backwards as well. So here's one that's going forwards and there is the one that's going backwards, okay? So I hope that's sort of clear, that there's one that goes up and then one that goes back and one that goes forwards. Okay, so let's give these their names. So, the one that goes upwards here, this is called the apical bronchus of the right lung. Okay, so this is the apical bronchus. Okay, then the one that goes forward and is going to come to the front of the upper lobe here, uh, that's called the anterior bronchus. So this is the anterior bronchus of, again, the right lung. And it is important to uh, distinguish between whether it's in the right lung and the left lung, because again, there will be an apical and an anterior and a posterior uh, bronchus in the left lung as well. Okay, so this is the anterior bronchus in the left, uh, sorry, the right lung. Okay, and here, this one that's going backwards, this is the posterior bronchus, again, of the right lung. So all these names make very much uh, sense, okay? So, you've got one that goes up and supplies the top of this upper lobe, and then one that comes forward, supplies the front, and one that supplies the back, uh, which is the posterior bronchus. Okay, so that's the supply um, of oxygen uh, to the upper lobe. So, let's now turn our attention to uh, this lower division that's going down to the middle lobe, and then on to the lower lobe. So, very quickly, what's going to come off here is a branch which is going to supply uh, the middle lobe, okay? And this will split into two. So let me show the two that it's going to split into. One here and one here. And these are the only two which are going to supply the middle lobe. Okay, so one is going to be called the medial bronchus. So this is the medial bronchus. And this is going to continue supplying the sort of inner portion of the middle lobe. Okay, so the medial portion. So this is the medial bronchus here, and the other is going to go further out and will supply the lateral portion of the me middle lobe, and this is known as the lateral bronchus. Okay, so here is the branch which comes off to supply the middle lobe, and it has a lateral branch and a medial branch. Okay, now the rest of this great um, airway here um, is going to continue on downwards to supply the lower lobe, okay? And the lower lobe is actually going to have the greatest number of um, bronchi supplying it because it actually isn't that small. Even though on this picture it looks tiny, really the middle lobe is the smallest one, okay? Uh, basically, if you follow these, um, these um, fissures here, if you follow them with your hand, it's going to, um, if you followed that with your hand, even though you'd originally bring it in like this, you'd have to move your hand like this. So the lower lobe is going to go back um, a lot, basically. It's a lot bigger than you would imagine, basically, from that picture. Okay, so it's going to have five main bronchi that are going to be supplying it, okay? So let's see these now. So. The first one is going to come off earlier, but it's going to come off from the behind of this um, of this main um, bronchus that is coming down to supply the lower lobe. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is from the behind, what's going to happen, so I'll draw it as a circle coming off here and going backwards, basically. You're going to have a branch coming off that's going to supply the top of the lower lobe, okay? 
and the rest of this will continue on downwards like so. And this here, this um, bronchus that is coming off from the back of this main bronchus, this is what's known as the apical bronchus of the lower lobe of the right lung. Now this is confusing because we already have an apical bronchus which is supplying the upper lobe, remember, up here. Okay, so you must say that this is the apical bronchus of the lower lobe, and then you should add, of the um, right lung, okay? So of the lower lobe. Then what's going to happen is the rest of this bronchus is then going to split into four separate uh, airways, okay? So let me show this. So basically, you're going to have one that goes off to this side and supplies the lateral portion of the lower lobe, one that goes off to this side and supplies the medial uh, portion of the lower lobe, okay? So let's put those here. And then you're also going to have two more. So these are the ones that supply the lateral and the medial. Then you're going to have two more, one which is going to supply the front and one which is going to supply the back. So basically you're going to make um, bronchi which go in all four directions to both sides and forwards and backwards basically. Okay, so I will show you the one that's coming forwards, but there will also be one that's coming off down here which is going behind, basically, backwards. Okay, so this one here is coming to the side. This is the lateral bronchus, okay? So this is the lateral bronchus, and again, it, you can see that, again, it, its name is clashing with the lateral bronchus that's supplying the middle lobe. So again, you would call this the lateral bronchus of the lower lobe of the right lung, okay? I'll just put lateral bronchus of the lower lobe. Okay, right. Then over here we have the medial bronchus of the lower lobe. So again, its name is clashing, and the names of these are all going to clash basically. So this is the medial bronchus of the lower lobe. Okay, and it will supply at the medial portion of the lower lobe. Okay. And then these other two uh, bronchi, these final two, one is coming forwards and one is going backwards. So the one that's coming forwards is going to be the anterior bronchus. And again, we have to clarify this is the anterior bronchus of the lower lobe because there was, remember, an anterior bronchus that was supplying the upper lobe up here. So this is the anterior bronchus of the lower lobe. Okay? And then the branch that goes backwards into the page, this is the posterior bronchus of the lower lobe. So this is the posterior bronchus, and again its name would clash with the posterior bronchus uh, that supplies the upper lobe, except that we have clarified by putting posterior bronchus of the lower lobe. Okay, so those are the main bronchi then, which are within uh, the lung. Okay, and they supply the different lobes. So we have uh, overall 10 of these major bronchi which are within the lungs. Okay, and of course they will then divide into smaller structures and smaller structures still, and eventually you'll get down to tiny little channels which have uh, the alveoli off them. Okay, so. Uh, we'll call it here for this video, and then in the next video we'll turn our attention to the bronchial tree uh, for the left bronchus over here.